Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Fei's World Media. In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new feature that is still in beta for Restream, the live streaming tool of Fei's World's choice and many others. This feature is about co-hosting. When will you actually need it? Well, uh, you might need it if you have a co-host, a virtual assistant, and that person will simultaneously log into your very same Restream account with the same tab open and that person will have control over feedback, chats, controllers, uh, minimizing the guests or the screen shares, for example, or even help you tweak the branding that you have going on on Restream Live. And I think this could be really helpful because a lot of us live streamers and content creators, we rely on ourselves, but we do have a lot of VAs who can help us do so much more. And sometimes it's just really hard to interview someone and present while having to manipulate all the technology behind the scenes. <laughs> The first thing is you have to confirm your URL is this exact URL, which is restream.io forward slash question mark co-hosting. And I'm going to include this link in the description as well, just so that you're not confused. So once you're here, um, what I always do is if I'm doing something for the first time, especially if I have a co-host who needs to run this with me as a test, I highly, highly recommend that you set up a private Facebook page or group for testing purpose only. So as you can see here, this is the only thing I have turned on. With that, I'm gonna enter into the live studio. Here I am. Okay, great. So now I can actually verify that I am going live in this particular group. Awesome. All right, now if I'm testing, sending a message on two different machines, which I'm going to uh, record in both. So it looks like I'm able to edit and control my co-hosting from another machine. But the thing is, I do have to share uh, my login. So now I'm controlling the screen share right from my main machine. Let's see what's going to happen if I do another share. So literally I can add another screen. I can disable the screen here, but let's see from here. I'm able to also turn screens on and off. So now I'm going back to my MacBook pro. Let's see what's going to happen if I do another share. So literally I can add another screen. I can disable the screen here, but let's see from here. I'm able to also turn screens on and off. Hi, this is Faye. On that, I'm able to type something else. So I could probably go on forever, but the idea of what I just did was testing to make sure that co-hosting as a feature works. There are three things you have to ensure that you do in order to share your Restream login with your co-host. So yes, number one, you're using the exact same login. Number two, you're using the URL I was telling you about, the question mark co-hosting also in the uh, description below. And number three, you wanna make sure you have a single tab open for Restream as opposed to having multiple tabs open. Uh, obviously, last but not least, you're giving up uh, a little bit of a control there, right? So you're sharing your login information, make sure you like the person, you trust the person. And as always, run the test. Thank you so much for watching. This is Fei Wu from Face World Media. This channel is all about creative entrepreneurship, whether it's live streaming, Zoom, or you know, really reaching the audience, uh, the minimal viable audience for your business and your services. So, so much love for the community. Thank you for supporting me and I'll see you in the next video.